Hey guys, today's video I have some more Bath & Body Works inspired Dollar Tree DIY candle holders that I created to share with you guys. So the inspiration for these candle holders are some candle holders that I saw in Bath & Body Works in the past. They don't have these holders this year um, in their stores. So people are selling them on Poshmark, Macari, and eBay for much, much more than what they originally were. So I definitely wanted to try to recreate it with Dollar Tree products and things that I had on hand. So one of them had the skull inside it in the middle and another one had like a spooky tree and like gravestones inside it. So I'm going to recreate the one that had the skulls inside it because I could not find any of those spooky trees or gravestones anywhere. Anywhere. so I'm gonna take these little um, this little skull head you can get like a bag of them at Dollar Tree um, for $1.25 and so I'm gonna take two of them and I'm gonna paint them white So for the middle part of this candle holder, I'm going to take this clear glass vase from Dollar Tree. They do have this same similar one in two different sizes, a small size and this one. So this one is the bigger one of the two. And then I'm going to take some Jingle Block pieces. Actually, they're called Tumbling Tower pieces um, in Dollar Tree. In the toy section, you'll see they're called Tumbling Tower pieces, but they're basically the Jingle Block pieces. I'm going to take a couple of those and glue them to the bottom of this vase so that I can add some height to my skeleton heads. And I'm going to do two rows of two rows of these Jingle Block pieces so that I can give it two rows of heightness. Then I took some floral moss and then I filled it around the tumbling tower pieces before I glue down the skeleton heads. Now to create the top part of this candle holder, I'm gonna take this old candle jar lid that I have from the tall candles that I get from Walmart. I always keep the candle jars and the lids when I'm done with the candles for DIYs. So I'm gonna take this glass jar lid and I'm also gonna take this metal ribbon from Dollar Tree that has this beautiful design on it and I'm gonna take the metal ribbon and I'm gonna glue it around the border of this lid to create the top part of this candle holder. And this is how it turned out once they're both glued together. I saw somebody else use this metal ribbon for another DIY and I thought it would just be perfect to create a border for a candle holder. So you can use this metal ribbon for multiple things. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys would use it. Now for the base of this candle holder, I'm gonna use this candle holder that I had on hand. As you can see, I've painted it for something else for another DIY that I made before when I was into my little farmhouse fill. Um, so I did like a little country kind of paint to it. So now I'm gonna use it for this DIY. Um, I always like to reuse the stuff that I have. So I'm going to paint it black. I actually spray painted it black and I spray painted the top part as well. And now I'm going to glue everything together. And this is how it turned out you guys i just put one of the dollar tree candles on top but you can put any of the scented candles like those one wick candles they would fit on top of here or you could just have these type of candles as well or any kind of fake candles those led candles from dollar tree you could put up here anything you like um i wish i did find like with one of those spooky little trees or the little gravestones because i think that would have been fun to put in here um but the skulls look cute as well but you guys let me know in the comments down below what would you guys put in here in the little vase area for your candle holder um what would you add to it to make it spooky 
For my next candle holder, I took this baking ramekin. I think that's what they're called, these little baking ramekins. Um, you can find them in the glassware section at Dollar Tree. Um, I took this one and I spray painted it black. And then I'm taking this glass vase, which I've had on hand for a while. So I don't know if this style is still at Dollar Tree, um, but you can also get it in the Goodwill or any thrift store. And I'm gonna glue them together using a mixture of this Fix All adhesive glue, which I tell you guys all the time is just as good as E6000 glue. You can find it in the tool section at Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna use a mixture of this glue and hot glue to glue it together. Now to go inside this vase, I'm gonna put this pumpkin that has a haunted house on it. I shared it with you guys in my last um, Dollar Tree haul and they have um, an orange one and a white one. So I'm taking this orange one and I'm gonna put it inside this vase. I'm gonna glue it inside this vase along with some moss. So for the top of this candle holder, I'm taking this metal pan. I think it's a metal pan. Um, it's in the craft section at Dollar Tree. It's actually aluminum at first and it has like a hand, like a string on it. Um, I had spray painted it white before for another DIY, but for this one, I decided to spray paint it black and use it so that it matches the, the bottom of this other one. And I'm just gonna attach it to the top of the glass as well with a mixture of both glues. And this is how this one came out. I like this one because you can actually fit the bigger candles on this one. And again, if you can't find this vase at Dollar Tree, um, Goodwill and thrift stores always have these types of vases for around a dollar as well. I'm not sure if they have this size anymore because this vase, I've had it for so long. And so I'm glad I, I was able to put it to use because I didn't have a use for it. So I was glad I was able to make something out of it. Um, and that is it for today's video, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite and uh, stay tuned because I got some more DIYs coming your way, guys. So just put the notification on follow me on here if you're not a follower already and also follow me on tiktok and instagram as well because i share a lot of things daily over there and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys hey guys don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that i put out and check out these other two videos that i have posted on my channel on either side of my picture have a great day